told you I was a shitty student. <laughs> <laughs> he seemed to be a good bone digger. Oh, excuse me, boner. Bon- a super boner. If you uh, find 50,000, you're a super boner. Oh, you have like tears? Yeah, you and there will like- never be another super boner but me. Oh, nice. And I win the, I win the chili cook-off every year. You throw a little mammoth meat in that chili. Have you ever mm. eaten mammoth meat? Oh, yeah. What? Yep. You ate it? Yeah. What? How old was it? We didn't carbon date it, but it's got to be at least 12,000 years old. Cause so what... you found physical tissue, like muscle and tissue, and you cooked it? I have a friend up there that found a bison. Blue babe is what it's called. You probably find it someplace. They got killed by a lion. It's a one of the main displays at the University of Alaska Museum. And when he discovered it, he got a hold of the museum. He was using giants like I use. And this was... There is it right there. Yeah, it's Dale Guthrie. <clears throat> wow. So the whole thing was frozen solid. Yeah. So it's got the... We're looking at this image. It's got the tissue on it. It's got all the skin. It's got everything. Yep. And... Uh, you guys cut a chunk off that and threw it in the Traeger? Not off that one. <laughs> But when he found it, he got a hold of the museum. He says, hey, I have I have something coming out of the muck here. You might, guys might want to come look at it. But before I tell you about it, what ha- what's the process? Well, what do you think it is? Well, I think it's a, I think it's an Ice Age animal. Well, and it's right where I'm mining. And they said, well, we can do an emergency excavation. We can come in, have it out of there in a day. He said, okay, come get it. He told them where it was. They went in there. And this, this is significant. Uh, you're done mining here. It, what? What? You're done. We're gonna. It's, we're not gonna do an emergency excavation on this. This is a complete animal. It's gonna take us a while. So he's a friend of mine. He says, "Guess what happened, John?" I said, "What?" He goes, "I had to go mine another creek the rest of that summer." You want to know the name of that creek? I said, "Yeah." It's called No Gold Creek. <gasps> He goes, you know why they call it that, John? I think so. He says, I ate nothing but pork and beans and hot dogs all winter. I had no money. I had no gold. Those guys came in. Shut everything down. Shut everything down. For this one animal. For this one animal. Does he regret making that phone call? He did. Mm. Because after it was all restored and became a preeminent display at the university and it's been in new york city too at the amnh on display he his mom had was living in palm springs in california came up to visit him now she's elderly and uh he's a long time plaster mining family his father they were having dinner at the creek one night and his wife said uh there's somebody in the sluice box they were sitting down to eat looked out grabbed his rifle Bang. Put his rifle down, finished his meal, went to bed. He shot the guy? Yeah. The next morning, they're having breakfast. EPA had come in on a site visit. One of the EPA guys came running down and said, there's a wounded guy inside your sluice box. And the old man says, he's wounded? Yeah, he's wounded. Oh. Off he went. He didn't kill him. He clipped him. He didn't try to clip him. He tried to kill him. Now, getting back to my story. Jesus Christ, how crazy are people in Alaska? Just kill him and go back to dinner? That's some Wild West shit. It is. This was, this was probably 40 years ago that it happened, 30 years ago. And uh, anyways, he's the one that found Blue Babe, this guy, the son. So his mom, the, his dad had passed. His mom came up. Hold on, go back to the, the guy who got shot. What was the guy doing? Stealing gold. Oh. It was inside the guy's okay. sluice box. Okay. It, it happens. You know, guys getting inside. We've, we've caught people doing stupid shit. Mm, I'm sure. And guys that crawl into your sluice box at the end of the day. How big is a sluice box? Uh, they all vary, but generally speaking, they're let's say 30 feet long and maybe six or eight feet wide with riffles that stop the 
the gravel and the so gold goes over. Did this guy get in trouble for shooting that guy? Uh uh-uh. uh. No. Property. Nobody likes nobody likes those guys. Stealing shit. And a guy didn't file charges for being wounded. He just kind of went someplace. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <clears throat> but but my buddy, his mom came up to visit, go to the museum up there to see. He says, come on, Mom, I want to show you Blue Babe. So they went up there, and it was a $3 admission per person. He gets to the front, and he says, yeah, this is my mom. there would be two of us, but I'm the guy that discovered Blue Babe. And the girl, they're taking the money. She didn't know any better. She goes, oh, that's nice. Let me... I, he says, yeah, he says, let me make a call. So she calls somebody. She comes back and says, uh, i tell you what, we're going to let you in for free, but it's going to be three bucks for your mom. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God is right. They made a big mistake. <clears throat> because the same guy <clears throat> found a full woolly mammoth. You asked if I ate woolly mammoth before. He didn't make no fucking phone call. Had a little bit of a barbecue. Jesus. A lot of Jack Daniels and shit like that went down. How, now explain what the what condition the meat was in. Was it frozen solid? No, not by the time we ate it. Right, but it, when he found it. Oh, yeah. It was frozen solid. Yes, sir. And so it just thaws it out? and Once once it's out of the permafrost, it starts melting. And then what what was it like? Like, yeah, you, like a steak? Oh, fuck no. Like a shoe leather. Well, of course, they're very thick. You got to saute. Animal. You got to you got to put them in some kind of you know. You got to let them soak into a, some kind of marinade. Did you, you have know. any apprehension about eating a twenty thousand year old mammoth? Not after the first few drinks. <laughs> <laughs> How much of it did you guys cook? It wasn't very much. He sold the whole animal to a collector. Got close to half a million bucks for it. Wow. And so how do we, how does one even transport? Do you, do you have to refreeze it? Like, what do you do? I think the buyer just wanted the bones. He wanted the skeleton. Oh. Because the, the skeleton of a woolly mammoth is very expensive. You know, you're talking about tusks. That, but wouldn't yeah. that tissue be very valuable? I'm not the only guy around that's eating mammoth up, oh. up there. What? You know, it's, is that a small club of you guys? I don't know what. I don't know if it's a small club. We don't recognize it in each other, but it's. Uh, you got no choice. You find a woolly mammoth 